Hey there, welcome back to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we will be talking about the Live Chat homepage, the chat section, and all the great features in the text area. Let's get into it. The Live Chat homepage serves as your command center, providing a real-time overview of your chat activity. It displays ongoing conversations, performance metrics, and important notifications that help you stay on top of your team's productivity. This dashboard ensures you're always informed, organized, and ready to respond to customer inquiries. For new users, you'll see a list with tailored tasks and suggestions to help you get started. Now, we have the sidebar, which is like your dock. You have everything here within reach. All of the live chat sections, the marketplace, settings, and your profile. Help is also there for when you get lost or need assistance with the live chat app. Moving on chats. Let's start with what does getting a chat look like? Well, when a customer starts a chat without a prompt, the first message they receive is an automatic message, the welcome message. When the customer starts to type their message, you'll see what they are writing in real time. This is thanks to the message sneak peek feature that lets you see what customers are typing before they send it. For example, if a customer starts typing, I'm having trouble with my account login, you can view it as they type. This gives you time to prepare your response and reply almost instantly, speeding up conversations and also showing customers that you are attentive. Now, visitors can see when you're typing too, but they won't see your text. Just a heads up to wait for your reply. But where do the chats come from? Well, the customer can send a message in the chat widget on your company's website, on the chat page, or from an integration you have linked like Instagram or Telegram. And you can invite customers to chat manually in the traffic section or automatically with campaigns. One more source of chats is chat transfer, which means a colleague can transfer chat to your team or you specifically. Let's dive into the chat section. Here, Live Chat organizes your conversations into easy to navigate categories for efficient management. On the left, we have our chat list. The chat list is where Live Chat sorts your incoming conversations into different types for better organization and management. My Chats displays all ongoing conversations that are assigned to you. Depending on recent activity, they are categorized as either active or inactive. Queued chats displays customers who are waiting for an agent to be available, while unassigned chats, as the name suggests, they are not assigned to anyone. There are a few situations where chats may not be assigned to anyone, such as when your agents are not available. And supervised chats are the conversations you are currently overseeing. These categories make tracking which chats need immediate attention easier and ensure that no customer is left waiting. Right, so we now know what types of chats we have. Let's go and see what we have in a chat. Most of the work occurs in this space, so let's look closely at it. You can immediately see that it is divided into three zones. On the left, we have the zone of all the chats we already discussed. In the middle is the customer conversation, and on the right is the customer information and any help agents may need, such as integrations. Let's start with the customer conversation. From the top, you can copy a link to the conversation, move it to another agent, or create a ticket for in help desk. You can also ban the customer if necessary. In the middle is your conversation with the customer. And below that, you have a window to respond to the customer. In this window, you have all kinds of tools that can be useful to you. The message versus note button. You can easily switch between a normal message and an internal note. So notes is a private messaging feature that allows agents to collaborate, share context, and ensure smooth handoffs without the customer seeing them. Then we have Copilot's reply suggestions and the text enhancement feature, which are AI powered tools. We'll talk about them in the automate lesson. Of course, we also have basic features like uploading files, using emojis and auto completion. Now let's move on to explain the two most common tools used by agents, namely canned responses and tags. We'll come back to the customer details, the right side of that window later in the video. 
canned responses is a powerful tool that allows you to save frequently used messages and quickly insert them into chats using shortcuts. This feature is perfect for answering common questions or delivering standard information efficiently. For example, if you often explain how to reset a password, you can save that response and call it up instantly by typing a shortcut like hashtag reset password. Let me show you how to save a canned response from a chat. So hover over a message you sent in the chat, click on hashtag, and here at the top we have shared and we have private. So shared available to all team members or private, so the canned response will only be visible to you. Now you can of course edit the response text if necessary. Um, you can also include variables like customer's name or customer's email. And now let's go and set a shortcut um, to quickly call up the response in the future, right? So hashtag shipping. And let's click save. So next time you want to use it, you can type the assigned shortcut in the text area or you can also go here to canned responses and select the canned response you want to use. You can also create and manage canned responses in the automate section under canned responses and response list. Next, tags. Tags are a helpful feature in live chat that allow you to add labels to chats, helping you organize and categorize all customer communication. You can add tags to conversations to easily track specific topics such as technical support or sales. You can also use them to filter results in archives and narrow down data in reports. For example, tags such as hashtag bug or hashtag complaint help identify weak points within your product. To create a tag, go to settings, go to tags. Now creating a tag is super simple. Um, we just need to input the tag name and click create tag. And there we go. So once you have your tags created, what you wanna do is open up a chat and at the bottom, you can see the add tag button, simply click on it and choose the relevant tag. So in this case, we'll go with shipping. So tags are great for organizing all of your chats so that you can later also find them easier and filter them in archives. And lastly, customer details. Customer details gives you all the important information about the customer you're chatting with. You'll see things like their contact details, past chats, pre-chat survey answers, and device information. This makes it easier to understand their needs, uh, solve issues quickly, and offer more personal support. You can also make the customer details section even more powerful by adding integrations. Through Live Chat's marketplace, you can connect helpful tools like CRMs, task managers, or desktop sharing apps. These integrations show up right in the customer details tab, so you don't need to switch between apps. For example, you can quickly check customer records from your CRM or create follow-up tasks in a project management app, all without leaving Live Chat. These tools save time, make your work smoother, and help you solve customer problems faster. So by now I think we covered everything in the chat section, but how does a chat end? Live chat offers automatic chat closure based on inactivity, so you don't have to manually close chats. You can set the inactivity timeout in settings, chat settings, and inactivity timeouts. Once this time elapses, the chat will close automatically. If needed, you can also manually end the chat from your side, archiving the conversation for future reference. For that, find the chat on the list and click the X mark. Archiving chats ensures that your workspace remains uncluttered while still preserving the history for later use. This system helps keep your workflow organized and ensures you always have a record of important conversations. Right, that's all for today. Click that bell icon so you don't miss an update as soon as our next lesson comes out. Take care and see you soon.